Hey, it looks like the gimp's so, flying uh, again. Can I get to where he w is just been shot? Having heard the shot? At the end of your turn, yeah. Okay, like that's going to burn my whole turn? Yeah. All right. Well, well, I mean, I can't make an attack at the end of that. No. Okay. Well, he's going to hear a lot of... You can of... have your... You can have no. it spinning up. I'm not, I'm not using the gun inside oh, the ship. Oh, sweet Jesus, thank God. <laughs> no, th there's two possibilities. One, he gets, he's within reach of the Tetsubo, and the other option is uh, I do the horror movie trope and start ripping holes in the <laughs> <laughs> thing from the, the hallway. All right. You're coming from aft. You're coming from fore. Okay. You guys are both coming down the corridor, and you see the little hand yeah. poking out of it. Yeah. Can I get to it? And do... <clears throat> okay, I will get to it, and I am going to... Well, that's on well, now. <laughs> He's got a chain weapon he can just wrap up and then drag out. Yeah, do yeah. that. That's what I'm going to try and do. All right. <sighs> what do I need to subtract? His defense is three, and I believe it's a minus two to that maneuver. Mm -hmm. To try to grapple somebody with the chain. No, because of my chain style. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, minus just, three. Three. Yeah, you got him. Yank him out. Yeah, that's going to be contested strength. Dexterity strength. I think. Do I get any bonus for the chain being wrapped around him? Uh, no. Four. Four. Uh, you go to pull, and he's <coughs> like the, his arm comes out. And uh, you see, like, the side of his little ear, but he does catch himself in the opening, so you're not able to pull him all the way out. You're making your way to the engine room? You're there? I'm there. Mm -hmm. The hyperspace engine is thrumming along. Do I see or hear anything out of the ordinary? It's investigation. Nope. Savage one. Because it's you, you know what to look for. Uh, yes. He has. You notice at least one uh, satchel charge. It's been placed. Oh dear. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> Time to get to work. They <laughs> <laughs> say good. As long as he doesn't set it off, we might be okay. Which I don't think he is if he knows his ship was blown up. Oh, yeah. I think I seem to remember us going, we won't need a backup hyperdrive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I seem to remember that, too. Um, hey, they have been hawk as a backup hyperdrive. I am going to uh, uh, radio in. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. I just... I am going to radio in for the other bomb tech to come into the engine room. I'm going to die. I'm not going to die alone. <laughs> All explosive ordnance disposal teams to the engine room. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. So he says that over the intercom of the ship. And all of a sudden everybody starts screaming. <laughs> right again! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. If you're bounty hunters and spacers and you're freaking out about that call, you probably have no business in space. Hey, I'm unconscious. There's no way I'm freaking out. Give me a strength. I'm surprised you're still alive. Hey, better luck um, even good. If, if he's trying to break the grapple, it's just... Uh, he's not trying to break the grapple. Oh, okay. 
but I know he's going to want to control the arm with the gun on it, so I'm, gonna, I'm just having him roll. Um, wits strength. Wits strength is my any kung fu or anything you need. Um, kung fu acrobatics, <laughs> chain weapons, and the force will be different specialties. I'll give you one for the chain weapon. Yeah. Four. Okay, so your one net hit is going to add an additional penalty to his attack roll. What's your armor? Against blasters? Yeah. Seven. Seven blaster proof? Yeah. And get one success. Oh well. Uh, he's he lifts his blaster, levels it at you. He's obviously trying to control the arm, and is actually helping. mostly successful. Yeah. But this he walk seems to be wild. So like, yeah, he's trying. <laughs> Finally gets a shot up. Yeah. yeah. We will go up the rest of the way and then give him a nice <laughs> case if, yeah, <laughs> large stick to the face. Yeah, I'll use my full dice pool for this. He did shoot at me and he took out my pilot again. But I don't think I need to use a uh well I don't have any willpower left anyway. So no, just normal, normal attack. All right. His defense is two. Hmm. Only got four. Alrighty then. One. <laughs> Let's zap. Yep. And then he comes out of the. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, down he comes. I hate, I hate to do this, but uh, I don't know if electricity travels along chains very well. It's a metal chain. It's uh, a... <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Stamina willpower. <laughs> I mean, it has to travel through the Ewok and then down the chain. We're, I'm not 100% sure it's hand. an Ewok yet. No, he said Ewok. Yeah. Suck it, Disney. <laughs> <laughs> so is he just making the stamina what? resolve? Resolve stamina. Resolve stamina. A rabid Ewok with explosives and a heavy blaster pistol? Holy shit. Yep. That is one BA. It was their cruise COD guy. Three. Oh. Wait, the guy I was working with? No, oh. no, he was the uh, the uh, people resistance we blew up. You crew. shot. Oh, the pacifist crew Zod. No, no, no. Oh yeah. Oh, I was wrong. What? Um, I think it's from the rebellion crew. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you let go of the chain. Yep. Yeah. I'll pick up the Ewok. And then start slowly searching him for, or well, carefully searching him for uh, a detonator or anything, and weapons and stuff to disarm from him. Well, he, the most obvious thing is the thermal detonator that's on his belt. Yeah, that's, that's coming off. Wits investigation. Okay. And I thought you watched the print. They normally are. Yup, nub. Yup, nub. I'm just not rolling well on this. It's just one again. I mean, it's something. Uh, yeah, you find only an empty sack. An empty sack. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. What kind of sack? Like a, a satchel. Oh. Hmm. Ouch. It's well, I'm going to assume explosives. that that's the uh, reason why our uh, EOD guy is calling in explosive steam to the engineering department. Which is me and the other guy from the... <laughs> Alderanian Shoals. Yeah, Alderanian Shoals. Has he uh, come past me towards the engine room yet? No, he probably wouldn't be coming past you. You guys are on the lower deck. Okay. Well, then I'll go towards the engine room and make sure that he showed up. Doesn't matter if he does or not. I'm going to get this shit started. And leave me laying on the ground dying. That's fine. Again. You're a dick. <laughs> There's another guy there. There's a medic there. And I'm carrying an Ewok. We, 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 I mean, that's not really that noticeable of a weight, but... <laughs> What are you going to do? I will check on the pilot and then try to get him to sick bay. Again. Well, that means I'm pretty much out for the rest of this game. Again. What's your stamina? Uh, like... No. Oh, uh, two. I thought it was only one. Two successes. Knock off another box of lethal. Oh, it heals? No. Or you take another box of lethal. Oh. They hurt him? Okay. That means I have one box before I'm dead, dead. Okay. Roll again. He can't take him to the medic room? Well, he can stabilize him here, or he can take him to sick bay. He said he's going to attempt to stabilize him here. Right. You have any willpower left? Nope. Zero. Dun dun Not dun yet. dun. So I'm dead? No. No. Again? No. Parker Factor 5000. Two more. Four. Now you take a box of them. Now I'm dead. Now you're dead. Ah. Would you excuse me for a moment? <laughs> <laughs> Please don't jump punch me. It wasn't intentional. <laughs> He's going to go yell. Yep. <laughs> He's going outside. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, uh, this is a normal thing for Tim. Not the yelling, but the dying. So. <laughs> All right. Wits investigation. <laughs> okay. Or or you can try to disarm the one that you found. I'll try to disarm the one I found first. The less of the explosion, then the more comfortable I feel about searching for more. Okay. So I'm assuming EOD applies in this situation. Yes. Well, it just means you, you don't take the negative when disarming someone else's explosives. And I've also got EOD as a specialty. Plus, I've got make do. I don't exactly have all the tools on me right now. But that also minuses penalties. Well, so. me and Tineb comes to oh, okay, the good. with the necessary tools that you guys need. This is what I do. He will add two to your roll. This is definitely what we do. <laughs> five. Yeah, five. Right, you disarm this one. I'll look. Uh, it appears that this is a. It has a radio detonator on it. And about this time, I'm walking in with the Ewok. Can I figure out the frequency? Uh, yeah, you can attempt to do that. Okay, what's the roll? Wits computer use. Okay. We have a we have a communications jammer on the ship, right? Yeah, we have an area jammer. Perfect. It's not I, on. Yeah, but if I figure out the frequency, then I'll say jam that frequency. No, it jams everything. Yeah. That's fine. I don't give a shit. Well, then <laughs> so, we don't need to find the frequency. We can just jam everything. It's a good point. Yeah, I mean, I I'll radio in for somebody to flip on the area jammer. 
Um, we're kind of all here, except for Diva, who's watching them. And the other 50 people that are down there, one of them can't go flip on the area jammer right quick. Diva will go. Perfect. To the and activate the jammer. I will go. Okay. All right. So now that the area, jam I'll wait for the area jammer to get on, and then I'll find the rest of them. Did we find any in our investigation throughout the ship? No. Uh, looking at that, well, I'm gonna show, like, pull out this satchel that I got off of the Ewok and be like, "We need to make a dexterity." Ah, uh, hmm. What's dexterity? I guess. You too. I got three. Four. Okay. As soon as the jammer gets kicked on, uh, the other charges explode. Oh. And, uh... It was that kind of radio detonator, the one that's like, keep broadcast or keep, or stay silent as long as I'm broadcasting. Yep. Would my character have known that? If you had bothered with the intelligence computer test that I asked you to make. Savage. <laughs> All right. So the question is, what else did he uh, put charges on? Mm -hmm. Are you going to attempt to shield the Ewok? From an explosion? Yeah. Well, I don't know that my uh, pilot friend is dead right now. And I thought he was taken oh, care of when I walked care. away, because the medic was right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I do want him alive. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to, like, throw myself in front of a giant beam collapsing or something, but... I mean, when I turn away, I'll, he'll be partly out of blood. in a bad way. Okay. You're going to take three lethal, and you're going to take four. My armor explosion. doesn't negate any of this? Hmm? My armor doesn't negate any of this? Can you pass me a pen, please, or a pencil? And... Wow. Okay. Well, I'm an egg. I mean, if it's that big of an explosion where it's, like, life-threatening... Probably not going to protect the Ewok any longer because I don't want him to be alive while I'm dead <laughs> or unconscious. Oh, well, no, trust me. I'm upset. And that Ewok, I want that Ewok to live so I can make him suffer. Besides, it's like your cousin or something. No, completely different evolutionary track. <laughs> Well, I might not be dying alone. It's a possibility. Yep, uh, there are two explosions in the engine room. Uh, one of them was on the primary reactor and the other one was on the ion engine. So he was going to hit your ion engines, primary reactor, and the hyperdrive. So the hyperdrive's still going. Not after that explosion. Not after the... Yeah. The hyperdrive's the one that didn't get fragged. Everything and we're coming so, out of hyperspace like right now. Why doesn't the armor help at all? Because these are internals. No, I mean, why doesn't my armor help me at all against the incoming damage? Well, I didn't want to bother with calculating the chunky salsa effect uh -huh. with an explosive device, two of them. Yeah. Plus secondary explosions, so I just made it a simple dexterity wits saving throw gotcha. against seven boxes of damage. Mm. Hmm. Would you like me to calculate the chunky salsa effect? It'll take too long. All right. So at this point, we're coming out, right? Yes. You have no power. So oh. So. Yeah, we drop out of hyperspace. And the ship is dead in the water. And is the Wookiee down? Oh, yeah. Is the so Ewok? is the Ewok down. The Ewok's down. 
So was, uh, me and Taneb is the, he he sort of gets up and looks for a fire extinguisher. Okay, yeah, he's in a bad way. Taneb's in a bad way. I'm I'm injured, but I'm not. I'm more pissed than anything else. Right, because you never got hit by anything. Is exactly is the Ewok still alive? In any manner. Wits medicine. Uh, you should probably take care of other stuff first. Go ahead and roll that chance now. You can't tap. Alright. So, explain the situation to me. What am I looking at? I got me and Taneb, who's looking for a fire extinguisher. What's the area around me look like? Does the Wookiee... The Wookiee's is, alive, but bleeding out. So the Wookiee's bleeding out. No, you, uh, yeah, I can't. Oh, you don't have any wits or medicine, so... So I'll get on the stuff. comms so he's, and, They're both dead, for all you know. I'll get on the comms and ask for a medic team down the engine bay. They're dead. Never mind. Shit. At that point, I'll over the comms say, so's the pilot. Well, no. The comms are dead. Yep. Uh, yeah. So there's no, like, we're... we're well, your comm links work, because they have independent power. <laughs> okay, so then I'll reach out to... It's just a matter of, like, switching from it being slave to the ship to its own channel. <sighs> Nobody in med has a comm link, do they? Viva does. Viva's not in med, she's in the cockpit. But she's nearby, she can get the med. Yeah, I guess I'm going to radio in directly to these two and basically say, hey, we need a medical team down to the engine room, like yesterday. And then I'm going to get a fire extinguisher and start putting stuff out. It's press. Me and Taneb going to give me anything? He's going to make his own roll. Okay. It's not terrible. You got four. Three. Four. You guys get the fires out. Perfect. So there's no more immediate danger currently, yeah, correct? And that's when you get there, okay. along with the Zexto. Who's got his medical pack on? Stabilize the Wookiee, then tell me if that Ewok is still alive. Okay. Uh, well, he, well, the Zexto looks at the Wookiee, I'll look at the Ewok. Okay. Oh my god, the Wookiee will live. How many boxes of damage do you have? Uh, all of them. I have seven. Oh, yeah. He stabilizes them. Okay. Was that on the first roll? Mm hmm. Okay. It's like a champ. Yeah. Boom. Brah. I got two successes checking on the Ewok. Um, he's gonna live. It seems he's, he's mostly unconscious from the stun. <coughs> Good. I'll relay that information. Good. Somebody find me rope. And Why don't you start by fixing the ship? Because you have no life support. I got time. The ship has batteries. Emergency power is kicked on. Exactly. I've got time. Yeah. What I want is I want that Ewok tied up. And I want him sitting in the cargo area. That's a bad idea. No. You put him in somewhere where can't get anywhere if he somehow gets out of the rope. Oh, I'm going to put him somewhere where he can't get anywhere. Trust well, me. Metagamer, you're dead anyway. <laughs> I'm going to stop you there. Because basically you guys are down to uh, the kindness of strangers. Yeah. Yeah. We would have been by this point probably back on a major space lane though. Close to one, yeah. Yeah. But... For the purposes of the show, I think I'm happy. Leaving us floating in the middle of nowhere? Yep. yep. 
Give me one last. <laughs> give me one last thing for revenge, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I'm assuming you're going to torture this and walk to death. No, actually, no. I was going to tie him up, sit him in the cargo hold, wait for him to wake up and wonder where he was at, and then space him. Okay. And I'm going to tell him, you're an asshole. And people will get mad at you for wasting air that way. Again, <laughs> you have barely any life support. Again, don't <laughs> really care. <laughs> Why don't you stick them in one of the hatches, the, the airlock, and just shoot them out that way? Because I want, the, I want to be able to see him as he goes you right You can, because it has a window. Yep. I've done <laughs> it this way. It just happened. <laughs> I've spaced an Ewok out of pure anger. And killed the crew. No, we're waiting on the kindness of strangers. And there's no uh, guarantee you'll get it. And we hope that they arrive in time. Well, if you'd like to know if we make it out, then just... Tell us you want to see this game again. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. This wasn't much of an epilogue. Thank it was. It wrapped us. up what happens to most of the crew. <laughs> You're dead. He's barely alive. I'm extremely upset. And uh, you didn't figure out anything from your holocron. I call that all wrapped up in a nice bow. <laughs> oh, and I got to space an Ewok. Kind like, who doesn't like want to space an Ewok? pitch black when they're just floating, waiting for someone to pick them up. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty yep. much what's going to happen here. Yep. That's what I'm imagining. Just lights flickering on the end. Camera pans out. Lights flickering on the inside of the ship. <laughs> sort of like Serenity in the Out of Gath episode. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Right Only we don't have a, an escape pod to travel on to uh, try to get help. Yeah, why the heck do we not have escape pods? Well, there's probably regular escape pods, but yeah. not... Like a, uh, a whole small shuttle. Yeah, a small shuttle. Which have their own life support, if I'm correct. Skate, Skate pods? pods? Yes, but they are also a battery. They're not an engine. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that still adds us a little more time? Yeah, possibly. We'll see how the, how the public likes the crew. <laughs> well, I, I'm just, I got the make do feet, I've got crafts, I've got all this stuff. I could maybe make something happen. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. So right. you need to let us know whether or not you want this crew to continue, and maybe I can save us after I space an Ewok. <laughs> In the far future, maybe. Yeah. If we have a return to this game. Yep. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Jacked for Space Mechanic. <laughs> Join us next time when we talk about uh, where I, they get to ask me choices I made. I'm going to talk about how I designed the game. They're going to talk about how they designed their characters. And we're going to have some uh, questions from the audience that we've gotten, that we've collected. And we're going to answer them. All right. See you next week.